In this video, I will run a full system demo for the sales repeat process on SAP S4 HANA. So today I will be using settlement management and condition control management. This process is completely different from the one we had in SAP ECC. And for me to be able to set up the system and run this process, I couldn't do this alone. I needed a lot of help because I kept facing a lot of issues in configuration and also I don't have a lot of experience in settlement management. So to get help, I actually created a post on LinkedIn and I asked the community to support me. I asked if there's anyone available who can support me in setting up the system and running the process. And I'm really happy to see the amount of interaction I got on this post. And I want to thank the two people who had a great contribution to this video. So I want to thank Dan, who spent with me more than one hour online, sharing the screen, helping me understand the process, and Gautier, who has a great experience in the settlement management and condition control management. Thanks to both of them, I was able to understand the process, configure the system, and do this full demo. Don't forget to say thank you to Dan and Gautier. I will leave you a link to their LinkedIn profile in the description. Please connect with them and send them a nice message. Before we start, let me tell you that this demo was recorded at 3 a.m. after midnight because I didn't have any other time to do it. So please excuse me if I'm a little sleepy or if I go a little bit slower than usual. And I hope you enjoy watching the demo. In this demo, I will follow exactly the same example as I explained in the business process video. So it is very important that you watch the business process before you continue this one. I will leave you a link to the video here. Now I will start the process by creating the condition contract. To do this, go to logistics and settlement management, condition contract management, master data, edit display. Click on create contract, choose 0S01, sales rebate. Insert the validity date of the contract. So this contract will start in May and will end by the end of June. So 0105-2021 until 30-06-2021. Insert the customer number. So this is the customer account that will receive the rebate discount. My customer is 171-0001. Then in basic data, we start by inserting the conditions. And here we have two conditions. We have the rebate accrual and the rebate discount. So I will start by creating the rebate discount condition. So click here and then choose the condition type. And for the rebate discount, we choose RES1. So this is the standard SAP configuration. Now, as per my example, I have a scale in this condition, meaning that if the customer achieves the sales value of 5,000, he will get a discount of 5%. And if he achieves a value of 10,000 of sales, he will get a discount of 10%. Now to create a scale, you choose the line and then you click on this. So this added a new scale level. I want to have two of them. So I will choose the line again and click again on scale. Now the first level will be 5% and the second level will be 10%. So this is the condition rate. And then in the scales, you insert the target sales value. So 5% if he does a purchasing of 5,000 and 10% if he achieves 10,000. And then in unit, we insert the currency. So this is 5,000 EUR or 10,000 EUR. So now I'm telling SAP that this in this condition, if the customer achieves 5,000, he will get 5%. If he achieves 10,000, he will get 10%. This is for the rebate discount condition. Then I will add another condition for the rebate accrual and could choose the condition type REA1. So this is rebate accruals. And then as you remember in the business process video, I explained that we can have a different accrual percentage than the sales rebate percentage. For example, if we think that there is only a 30% probability that the customer will get this discount, for example, then I want to accrue only 3% at the end of every month during the contract. It all depends on my judgment. So my accrual percentage will be 3%. And then we go to business volume selection criteria. Here we insert the products and the customers included in this rebate agreement. So if I sell to this customer from these products, 
then this sales value should be included in my contract. To add the selection criteria, you click here and you choose what you want to add. So I will start by adding a customer and then I will add the same customer that will receive the rebate discount. And I will also add another customer. So now if I sell to either one of these customers, the sales value will be included in my rebate contract and the value of the rebate at the end of the contract will be a discount to this account. And this is very useful. For example, if we are working with an international customer or a chain of customers and we have a head office and we have many branches, then we want the rebate discount to go to the head office but we want all the branches to be included in the contract. So if we sell to any branch, the sales value will be included in the rebate base value. So now I included two customers and I will also add a line for the products I want to promote. So choose material. And this is the product I will sell now. I want to include in the contract. So if I sell this product to any of these customers, the sales value will be included in the contract. Then go to settlement calendar and here we tell SAP when are we going to calculate the accruals and when are we going to settle the contract. So click here to add a date and I'm going to run the accruals at the end of May. So I will add 30.05.2021. As you see, this is very dynamic. You can say that you want to calculate accruals in the middle of the month, for example. It's all up to you. And then you choose the settlement date type. For accruals, we choose Delta accruals. So now I'm telling SAP that in 30 of May 2021, I'm going to calculate accruals for this contract. Okay. And I will also add the final settlement date. This will be in the end of June, 30.06.2021. So this is when I'm going to actually deduct the discount from the customer account. If there is any discount, if the customer achieves the target, maybe the customer will not achieve the target and then there will be no discount. So this is the date, 30 of June 2021, and the type is final settlement, okay? And this is all what we need for now. After this, we release the contract, so click on this flag and save. Document ending 23 was saved. So this is our condition contract number. Now let's do some sales and see how this will impact our process, okay? To create a sales order, I will go to slash NVA01. I have already demonstrated the whole process of how to create the sales order, do an outbound delivery and a billing. So I will go very quickly now, but if you have any questions, I will leave you a link to the video here. You can check it to understand more about this process. So these are the values, order type is OR. I have my sales area here, okay. The customer is the one ending with one. So this is the same customer I have in my condition contract. And then the customer reference is PO, for example. Order reason is sales call. Material is FG04. So this is one of the materials included in my condition contract also. And the order quantity is 100. Now, if we check the conditions, so the price of this item is 100 EUR. And as you see here, I don't have any condition related to the rebate value or the rebate accrual. Because as I told you in SAP s hana SAP is recommending that we completely split the rebate process from the sales process. Now I'm going to save this order and then let's post the outbound delivery. So slash NVL01N. Okay. Fusion 171B. Pick the quantity 100. Post the goods issue. Now let's post the billing document slash NVF01. Post and display the financial entry. So billing document, display, accounting. So this is the financial entry from billing. As you see again, there is nothing related to accruals here. We have a debit to the customer and a credit to the revenue, uh, to the sales revenue account. Now let's run the period ending closing from May. Let's calculate the accruals. To run the settlement of the condition contract, we go back to condition contract management, but this time, we go to settlement and go to customer, create. Here we insert the settlement date. So this is end of May 30, 05, 2021. 
and here we have the condition contract so this transaction we can run for one contract or we can do for multiple contracts and then we have the posting date of the accounting document the accrual that will be posted and then we have run type so you can either do a check run a simulation or a live run I always like to start by doing a check run so I can check the results without actually posting anything to the system then you can change it to a live run and do the posting and the list range I like to keep at two list output header and item data so this will give you more details on the accruals and the other postings that will be done when running the transaction then execute okay and here these are the details of the postings that will be done so here we have the contract number the document type so this one will have a settle a sales rebate delta accrual the posting date for this built to party customer and this material we have a total sales quantity of 100 pieces and the total customer rebate base is 10,000 EUR so this is the sales value because we have 100 pieces multiplied by 100 EUR each so the total is 10,000 this is the billing document that we just posted and now as you see the customer already achieved the highest rebate target because in the condition contract we told SAP that if the customer achieves 10,000 then he will get a discount of 10% and the customer already achieved this which means that for for sure we will give him the discount but he is not going to get the discount now he will get the discount at the end of June but he deserves to get the total value of the discount this is why here SAP is going to ignore the accrual percentage that we maintained in the condition contract the 3% SAP is going to ignore it and instead is going to use the 10% that we specified for the highest target of sales rebate this is why here as you see the customer item net amount is 1000 10 percent of 10,000 EUR so this is the accrual value that will be posted let's go and check this so I will go back now and I will convert this into a live run execute again okay and now we can check the settlement document so click here and then go to accounting before we go to accounting let's see how SAP did the calculation of the accrual so choose this line and click on conditions here we have the rebate business volume 10,000 so this is the total sales value we have that's included in our agreement and then we have the rebate percentage is 10% so this is the high target because the customer already achieved it and then we have the rebate accrual percentage is three percent so SAP is telling you that it's actually considering the three percent but as you see this one is yellow which means it's not used why because SAP will use the ten percent because the customer already achieved the target so the total is ten percent multiplied by ten thousand so we have one thousand EUR rebate now let's go and check the financial document so go back and click on accounting accounting document and here is our accrual financial entry we have a debit to the sales rebate expense so this is a PNL account and we have a credit to the accrued rebate account this is a balance sheet 1000 and 1000 now let's go back so this is for the accrual calculation and the accrual posting now I'm going to do another sale in June and we are going after this to run the final settlement to see what is the financial entry in the final settlement so let's go back now I will post another sales document slash NVA01 again the same material order quantity let's say this time I am going to sell only 30 pieces save now the outbound delivery slash NVL01N post goods issue and the billing document as you see I'm actually doing this sale is still in May not in June but I'm doing this after I did already the accrual calculation run so anything that you post any sales you post after the accrual calculation run SCP will include in the next run so the next, can, the next run can be a final settlement a partial settlement an accrual anything so this sales order or this billing document will be uh, included when we do the final settlement now post 
Now let's go back and run the settlement at the end of June. So again, settlement customer create the same transaction. This time I will insert the settlement date 30.06.2021. So actually when you put this date, SAP is checking the condition contract to see what uh, you specified in the settlement calendar. And in the settlement calendar for this condition contract, we told SAP that in 30 of June 2021, we are going to run a final settlement. This is why SAP understands what we are going to do now. Again, I will do a check run first and the list range I will keep as two again so we can see the values and execute. One correct settlement, one contract settlement without errors. Okay. So again, for this contract, this time we have a sales rebate. The last time it was a sales rebate accrual. This time it is a sales rebate. So this is a final settlement for this customer with this material. The total quantity now is 130. We had 100 in the first billing document and 30 in the second. 130, so the total customer rebate base is 13,000 EUR. The customer net amount is 1,300. So the customer will get 10% because he achieved the target. Now let's go back and do a live run. Execute. Okay. So now the settlement document has been posted. And at, at any point of time, if you would like to check all the documents posted for the contract, you can check this from the condition contract master data here. So this is the same transaction we used to create the condition contract. You click here and you insert the condition contract number. And here on the left, you have the history of this condition contract. So we have our data accrual and now we also have a final settlement. Double click on this credit memo. And again, you can check the calculation by going here and clicking on conditions. So the rebate business volume is 13,000. The rebate percentage is 10%. So the total value of rebate that the customer will receive is 1,300 UR. Now let's go to the accounting document. So go back accounting. And there is our financial entry. So as I explained in the business process, we have two financial entries included in one. We have the reversal of the accrual or of all the accruals that we posted until now because this is a final settlement and we have the posting of the final sales rebate expense. So this part, you see here the two lines, this is the reversal of the accrual. We have a debit to the accrued uh, rebate of 1000 and we have a credit to the sales rebate of 1000. So this is the accrual value that we just posted at the end of May. And then we have the other part of the financial entry. So this is the total value of the sales rebate discount that the customer will receive. We have a debit to the sales rebate expense and we have a credit to the customer account. So now the customer already actually will receive the discount. When we did the accrual calculation, we didn't post anything to the customer account. Now in the final settlement, we have a posting, we have a credit to the customer account. So now the customer will not have to pay 1,300. And this is the end of the demo for today. If you watch the business process video and then you watch this demo video, you should have no other questions. If you have any questions, you can always leave me a comment on the video and also you can reach me on LinkedIn. So leave me your comments, let me know what you think. If you have any other questions about the process or if you have any recommendations or if you have any things you want me to explain in the next videos, leave me a comment. Also don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share the video with the rest of, the, of your network, this would be very nice. Thank you for watching and I will see you again soon.